Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for the rest of the development. Season 1, episode number 10. Don't forget to like and subscribe, people. And please hit that notification bell. Alright, we got JoJo coming through to say some great word plays in this one. <clears throat> say goodbye to his legs. Something that says dad likes leather. You mean leather daddy. The gothic castle. I appreciate your time. I can't believe the legs would screw me like that. A round of applause for the writers on this episode. Yeah, Wordplay. Alright, executive producer Lisette saying, I feel bad for Maybe because both her parents do absolutely nothing and yet somehow they both find a way to ignore her completely. Yeah. Also, did anyone manage to do a DNA check on Tobias because I'm 99% sure that he's a lost sibling of this crazy family because some of the stuff he gets up to can't be from habit forming. Also, George <laughs> finding religion in solitary was hilarious. Can't wait for the next one. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get to episode 10 right now. Michael Blue was talking to his son about his latest test. A minus, huh? Proud of me? Very proud. Minus. <laughs> Better go hit the books again. Get up there. C minus. C M I N E S. Oh, Did you even study? No, I didn't. Wow. How impressive is that? How <laughs> yeah, impressive is that? Well, the bar for the refrigerator has been lowered, huh? Oh, grades are meaningless. Maybe's last school didn't even happen. Back in Boston, Maybe's parents had enrolled her in a progressive school with its own system of evaluation. Elvis. All I'm saying, Lindsay, is that, you know, you might want to push her a little bit because a kid without discipline can get into some pretty tough stuff. So you think she's going to suddenly turn to drugs because she's got a C plus? Minus. And yes, I think without boundaries, a kid can get into trouble. And yes, sometimes that could mean drugs. Well, I think stress is what leads to trouble. You know the kind you put on George Michael even when he gets an A? Minus. Uh, minus, <laughs> minus is going to be a thing. You're as bad as dad with his ridiculous lessons. George Sr. had used his considerable means to stage intricate scenarios to teach his children what he considered valuable life lessons. I need help. I'll get my gear. Typically, these scenarios would involve a man named J. Walter Weatherman, a one-time employee who lost his arm in a Bluth Company construction accident. Why are you here? Remember, we're out of milk. I could have got it earlier if someone would have left a note. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this is their lesson. <laughs> someone would have left a note. This was innocent. This wouldn't happen. Damn, that's extreme. That's why you always leave a note. Well, those lessons worked, didn't they? I mean, we still leave notes to this day. <laughs> we still leave notes to this day. I thought he was trying to get us off dairy. I need a favor. <laughs> that was about. Oh, I need a she didn't get the lesson. I know hot cops fire. <laughs> hot cops? It's a stripping agency I used to work for. Cop uniform? Right. You know, I might have been just a little too believable. <laughs> You are sick. <laughs> and criticism. Yeah, George Michael friends. nervously approached the family yacht Joe had been staying on. Joe? When he saw the yacht was empty, George Michael, as he'd been trained to do since childhood, left a note. Left a note. Left a note. Yes, Back at the model home, Joe showed Michael the note he'd found at the dock. No, this can't be from my son. Well, it is his handwriting. Plus, he left me two hundred dollars, one hundred dollars. One hundred. I, I accidentally said two. This is an impossible. Why would you do this? I know. You yeah. know. I was shocked. I mean, really, a hundred dollars. You can't get good weed for a hundred bucks. Anyway, here you go. Now we are even on you paying off that hot cop thing. Might just be a few stands, but it should be pretty. Get that the hell out of this house. Keep on the weed. You should save the lectures for your son, if he can remember them. Man, I speak to Lindsay one time about her stupid hippie parenting and I end up with a hippie. Yeah, that seemed pretty quick. All I know has been going on forever. You know, he's been stressed, his eyes have been red, his grades are dropping. Heard about the A minus. I don't think we'll find out what's his going on. Heard about the A minus. Maybe the fucking yeah. A minus. Hey, what you doing? Nothing. No? So, uh, listen, your, uh, your Uncle Joe seems to think that he saw you down at the docks today. Was that you? No, no. Maybe it was the other George Michael, you know, the, the singer-songwriter? 
Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> What'd you do with the um, with the money that Buster and I gave you to go to fund with? I put that in my savings account. Oh, did you? Yeah. Save up. Okay. Thanks for being honest. Yeah. He's lying to me. Can you believe he decided that perhaps you had enough of her grandmother? Maybe. Love, fatty. Love you. <laughs> they all know how to leave notes, babe. Hey, Joe, it's Michael. Listen, I figured out a way to repay that favor. Dad wouldn't help me teach George Michael the lesson, so I need your help and your hot cop friends. I want to fake a drug bust. Michael, these guys are real dancers. But they've never done any hot policing. Well, they, they don't even need to be hot. They just need to show up in those uniforms. And so Michael's plan was put into motion. Where have you been? I am like a caged animal. My old lady's on the floor, man. I am not essing around. Yeah, yeah. Joe just called. He's got the stuff at the yacht. Oh, great. Let's go. No, no, I think my dad's on to this somehow. I'm not... Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Joe will never give it to me. My woman is sick. That's where the misunderstanding comes from. Later that night, Michael made the final arrangements with Joe. All right, Joe, is this going to be believable? I want him scared. I love this kid. No, these guys are I want him scared. I love this, this kid. This is the last possible moment before they strip. They're not going to strip, are they? I told them not to, but I can't promise that their instincts won't kick in. Anyway, trust me, it's going to be totally real, all right? This kind of thing goes on all the time out here. Boats wait offshore, lights are flashed. Guy comes over and drops off a bag. It's going to freak the little bastard out. Michael went off to hide while Buster and George Michael arrived as planned. I really appreciate you doing this for me. You're making a very miserable person happy. She really feels awful, huh? Oh, I was talking about me. But yeah, she's a mess. But yeah, she's a mess as well. It's all for me, fuck. Good thing he got a sting operation going on. You wouldn't follow him, would you? No, I don't think so. All right, kid. Let's steal some drugs. Let's steal some drugs. What are you doing? Flashing the lights. So the dealer knows what's going down. Now we wait. How long? Knows. An hour. Maybe five. Drug delivery! You wanted some marijuana? No, I'm not me and my nephew did. <laughs> Show me the money. Thing. Why are they on the radio? Because <laughs> I got it. Good chances. Yeah. Show us the pot. Got it right here. Oh my god. Nice, right? Okay, you put your shirt down there. That crap. Signal, you flashed the lights. You got the drugs, you got the money? No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I want the money. You want to make this ugly? We were just teaching the young fellow a lesson. We oh my god, babe. It's an actual signal. It's an actual signal. Stop the boxes. Put your hands in the air. What is this? Put your hands in the air. What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, oh shit. Look how hot they are! Everybody take a breath! Shit! Damn! 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 Damn. 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 Holy shit! Oh my god, this guy's hard! Oh my god, babe. Just came off and landed on the dock. Michael realized that his father had once again taught him... His dad did that! And that's why you don't. you don't teach lessons to your son. <laughs> How could you do that to me? <laughs> it's over there. Yeah. 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 That's why. So you taught me a lesson not to teach lessons? <sighs> it was my last lesson. <laughs> Back wow. Home. Oh, that was, was good. It was a wonderful time with Gangi. Well, actually, it wasn't so wonderful. And that's why you don't teach lessons. To teach lessons. Well, I'll tell you something. I'm glad you're my mom. Oh, um, I got you something. You're giving me this? You deserve it. I can't believe you have to put up with her your whole life. <sighs> Honey! Oh, this is so sweet. Let's start. Go shopping. You 
knew the whole time, didn't you? Kind of. One of the hot cops was my choir teacher. Buddy, I'm sorry about all this. It's just you know, <laughs> one of the hot cops is my choir teacher. <laughs> you knew the whole time, didn't you? I think we're okay. We are, aren't we? I mean, you know that there's nothing that you can't be totally honest with me about. I mean, you can say anything to me, you know? Anything at all. Uh, say I had a crush on my own cousin. Hey. <laughs> you just taught me a lesson. <laughs> all right, we're even. You taught me a lesson about telling you anything. All right, that was episode 110 of Arrested Development. And again, another smart, funny episode right there. Uh, another miss classic misunderstanding, but in the worst way possible. I love how the joke came back full circle again. And you don't teach lessons to teach lessons on the boat. I hear that, man. So I had I had a real good time with that. Everybody was hitting. And Jason Baden, I mean, come on, man. You, you just don't get no better than that. His... Super slow, uh, dry sarcasm is just top notch for sure. And the mom, the mom, I mean, the shade, the hate, the the shots are real. She so wants all the smoke every all time. All the shots, yeah. Every time, and I love every bit enough. So I can't wait for the next episode. Yeah, she is definitely uh, Lucille is definitely the she one that would win every one of those shots type of arguments. Yeah. Like, and she's so it, she doesn't even have to consider it. It just comes out like organically, authentically, mm -hmm. and like this is just this. She just spits fire like anytime yeah. she spits. Yeah, she um, so she definitely is a big contender for the MVP award of this episode because like I was cringing. I was like, ooh, that hurt. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah. Every one of those were blows, but like. I gotta give it to Pops, because he came through with the lessons. Like, that was fucking hilarious at the end. I didn't see that coming at all. Yeah. And, uh, and the fact that the, this is, like, a typical formula for Arrested Development, as far as their formation of each episode, having these full circle type uh, reveals, and the fact that I still get surprised by them is just brilliant. I just think that speaks so highly of the writing and how creative they are in uh, delivering that type of formula in a very unique, cool way. So, mm -hmm. I love this episode. I thought it was really yeah. fun. And shout out to executive producer Liz Sith. I think your girl maybe got a little bit more love and attention this episode, so yep. I'm sure that was well received as well. Yep. But can't wait for the next episode. Alright, well look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Arrested Development Season 1, Episode number 10. And until next time, people.